Hi everyone, I'm Christine and I'm here today with my friends at Love Food Hate Waste Canada and my daughter Sophia and we're going to share with you some food saving tips to ensure you reduce food waste in your home. It's fall right now so for me fall is like totally all about the pumpkins. What's your favorite thing about fall? The pumpkin pie. The pumpkin pie. The pumpkin pie is a classic. Did you know that pumpkins are actually squash? Of course I did. Of course she did, because teenagers know everything. The great thing about squash and pumpkins is that they can last for up to three months if stored properly, and they prefer cool, ventilated areas. So think about maybe you have an unheated garage or a cool basement, cold storage pantry. They love that type of environment and you can get them to last for up to three months. So Sophia, besides pumpkin pie, what is another way we can reduce our squash food waste at home? You can roast the seeds. We always roast the seeds around Halloween, but you can roast any squash seeds, not just the big pumpkins. This is correct. We don't usually think of roasting our squash seeds, but they are healthy and delicious. Always the hardest part with the pumpkin seed is getting the seeds off of those stringy little bits. So I have a nice big bowl of water here <laughs> and you're gonna scoop out as many of those seeds as possible. You can save all of these little stringy bits in here and you can actually do something with that. You can make a pumpkin tea. And look, they just float to the top. No stringy bits, which is amazing. Now we have our nice dry pumpkin seeds. Sophia, can you add a drizzle of oil? Not too much, just enough to lightly coat them. And then we're gonna add our favorite seasoning mix. So sprinkle that over top, mix that in. And then these we will roast at 325 degrees for about 10 minutes. If I wanted to make a pumpkin pie, what yes. would I use? That's a good question. So these bigger pumpkins are not really the best type of pumpkins to use for say a pumpkin pie. What you want to do is you want to use these smaller pie pumpkins. But any squash that you like the flavor of, you can still make a pie with. Uh, and the other thing is, even if you do buy this Halloween pumpkin and you decide to carve it out, you could still roast the seeds, make a pumpkin tea like I showed you before. You can even scoop out the flesh, puree it, and use it in baked goods like muffins or loaves. And you can also decorate the smaller pumpkins and squash around the outside and then use the inside for something yummy. You totally can. And I love what you've done with our pumpkins. <laughs> they look amazing. Um, but yeah, decorate the outside. And once we're finished with it for decoration, we can make our pumpkin pie. So another idea I've had for this fall is actually using the squash as a vessel. So I've been experimenting with these recipes where I'm actually baking something in the squash. So when you like present it, it's the main thing at the table. So I'm gonna show you. I have these mini stuffed squash. So this is a savory dish and they're stuffed with leftover quinoa and hearty greens and they smell delicious. And this one, do you know what this is? Is it a bread pudding? It's a bread pudding. So this is a bread pudding that I've baked in a kabocha squash. And then last here is your favorite dessert, which is cheesecake. Cheesecake baked in a little mini pumpkin. So all of these recipes can be found on lovefoodhatewaste.ca and I've tagged them below so you can follow along for all their top food saving tools. Together, let's rediscover the value of food and thank you so much, Sophia, for helping me out today. No problem. Thanks.